What's up, yo? It's your boy Will Smith with Red and Bold Chief Perspective, and we have breaking news. The Chiefs have um, agreed to a trade uh, for, with the Titans for Legereus Sneed, uh, their star, one of their star defensive backs. Um, they traded Legereus Sneed to the Titans for, he says, for a 2025 third round pick and a 2024 seventh round pick for this season, for this NFL draft, a seventh round pick. And I don't know how to feel it. Well, I I will say I'm not happy about that. I don't think it's fair trade value. A third round pick for 2025, that doesn't help us this season. They did get a seventh round pick for this season, but Legereus Sneed is worth more than a seventh round pick and a third next year. So I think I think the Titans got the better end of the deal on this. They do have to agree to, and I believe they um, are agreeing upon a contract um, with Legereus Sneed to extend him or sign him for about three or four years. So we'll see what that contract looks like. I don't like the, the compensation that the Chiefs received. I think this is more about I think for the Chiefs, they agree to this. I really I think they really wanted to free up some cap space um, because this does free up 19 uh, point about 19.8, I believe, against the salary cap. Nineteen million eight hundred two thousand dollars, which was the franchise tag that was placed upon Sneed. And so it does free up some money in that regard. So I wonder where will the Chiefs go in this? Will they sign another veteran free agent wide receiver? Um Will they sign a defensive player? What will they do with this money that has been freed up on the cap? There is a now they do already have and I, I can understand why they felt comfortable um, trading Legereus Sneed. They have some young corners, a good defensive back coach in Dave Merritt, um, who has been coaching our DBs up. The Chiefs have done well in the draft with draft drafting defensive backs. And we have young guys in Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams, Nazi Johnson will be coming back from injury. We have Nick Jones. And so um, I, I believe before Nazi Johnson got injured before the start of this past season that he was looking good in training camp. So maybe they have belief in him that he can step up or even um, a Jalen Watson or Joshua Williams, um, which those guys are not yet the caliber of defensive back that Legeria Sneed has been. He's a I mean, I like Sneed a lot. He's a very good player that um, very aggressive, physical uh, defensive back um, plays the style of defense that Spags like. He's good on the blitz as far as blitzing the quarterback, making plays. Uh, he made a, you know, the play that he made versus the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC Championship game where he knocked the ball out of Zay Flowers' hand right before he hit got to the end zone and caused that fumble. And so, um, Legereus Sneed is a playmaker. I, I will miss him. He was one of my of favorite Chiefs players, you know, and I like that whole defense. But um, we'll see where the, where will the Chiefs go? That's the question. Where will the Chiefs go? What direction will they go in? Will they sign uh, another free agent? Will it be OBJ? There, uh, Hunter Renfro or uh, Josh Reynolds. There are some free agent veteran wide receivers out there. DJ Chark, Chark, some guys that could help the team. And so, um, yeah, breaking news: Legarius Sneed will be traded to the Titans. And so, um, yeah, the Titans trying to build a team over there, trying to, you know, they've always been about defense. They won't have Rabel there anymore. But, you know, um, this is more about what I think the Chiefs are going to do. And I think they're going to uh, they wanted to free up some money to probably sign another player in free agency. So I think it was important for them to to trade Legereus. And so um, to get some of that money back on the cap. Um, he will be missed. Um, I was hoping he would be around and I know he wanted to, he wanted to stay in Kansas city, but he also wanted the payday. So, you know, the chiefs weren't going to pay him that money. Um, they like to stay young on defense outside of, uh, Chris Jones, of course, who is, you know, uh, 30, 31 years old. I think it just turned 30, but you know, Chris Jones is, he's the staple of that defense. And I'll talk about that more. Um, on the next episode of Red and Bold Chief Perspective, but breaking news, the Chiefs have agreed to a trade to the Titans. Again, it's for a third round pick in 2025 and a seventh round pick in this year's draft in 2024. We'll see what they do with that extra seventh round pick. Will they use it to move up? Uh, so we'll see. I don't know. All right. I'm signing out. This is Will Smith with Red and Bold Chief Perspective. 
shout out to MTMV Sports. Make sure you check out the channel. Make sure you also check out our other podcasts, or should I say our other shows on the YouTube channel for MTMV Sports. Uh, love you guys. Shout out to our sponsor, Ozell Brand. Y'all have a wonderful one.